So I am going to be reviewing the Samsung T5 SSD. So is this the best SSD for the MacBook Pro? In my opinion, yes it is, and this is what I use for my MacBook Pro. So I recently picked one of these up, and so now I use it to store all my files from my laptop for editing videos so like I keep all my video files on this little SSD and it's really it's really cool to see how far SSDs have came and how external hard drives have come like how small they can be now like do you see how small this come this comes this is a 500 gigabyte SSD and it's so small like now I have a two ter like a four terabyte one at my desk and that one is that one's actually way bigger but I'm just saying though it's really cool this it's really crazy to see how far SSDs have come and how small they are now. So something I really like about this SSD is that it has really high, it has really fast upload speeds. Like, so I can upload, I can upload like a foot file or something to this and it'll take, it won't take that long, which I really like. And it's so simple just to plug this into the MacBook since it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable. So this, this SSD uses USB-C, which is great because the MacBook Pro has USB-C ports. Now into some of the specs, so this thing has a up to a 540 megabytes per second uh, tra transfer speed and it supports USB 3.1 Gen 2, so that's that's really that's really good. And so this weighs, this weighs about 51 grams and it's not, and so when you're putting this in your bag, you really won't feel it, it's not like it's not going to put like extra weight in your bag when you're packing it. I mean the MacBook's already heavy, but you're, this, this doesn't put like any weight, it's so lightweight and easy, and all you do, you literally can just slip this little thing into your pocket, this, this SSD, and you can literally, it's so easy, it's like, it just fits in your pocket, which is great, because traveling with like a bigger SSD would suck, because it takes up so much more room in your bag, this takes up like little to no room in your bag, it's so small, and the upload speeds, as I said, are really good and fast. So this is a pretty short review, but I don't have much to say about this, which it's, I don't have much to say, but this is my favorite SSD that I currently use and I like it. So there's other things like the Samsung, there's other Samsung SSD options, which I've looked at and I just didn't want to get. So I decided to try this one just because everyone recommends it and everyone says it's really good. So those are my thoughts on this SSD and I'm a big fan of it and definitely recommend it to anyone out there since you'll probably get some great deals since it's around the holiday time now. So that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, one last thing, we're getting our first snowstorm right now so it's all like, there's so much snow outside now 